Stato Corsa Competizione in VR. This is Paul Ricard. I'm in that BMW. This is with Hotfix 3.5 and uprated VR settings. So let's see. Remember that the race is long. Our target is P10. Repeat, P10. Let's see if it's smoother. First of all, the, the track map is still having an almighty tizzy. But I just want to see how this looks. We know it sounds fantastic and it's a set of course the set plays really well, but with this new hot fix and the um, the VR tweak the wheels looks a bit funny on that Merc, but everything else looks absolutely beautiful. Green light. Go, go, go. Around the outside then. Let's get past this Bentley. AI is just has a habit of just stopping in the middle of the road for no reason whatsoever. But, let's have a look at it then. Now we're on a straight. Um, well, you can't deny it. it, looks absolutely beautiful. Extremely smooth at the moment. Amazing, really considering what it was like on the first VR build this is just different totally different game look at how smooth it is it was coming around the slower part of the track it's not jerky Just a 10 minute sprint race. Little nudge from the Ferrari, but that's okay. We'll let him off. So I'm just going to dive up the inside of this Audi. Another Ferrari in front. Again, I haven't set the AI too high because, frankly, I'm not very good. And I just want to have a look at how the game looks and not have to worry too much about racing. But this is really crisp and very smooth. Very, very smooth. Frame rate issues here seem to have gone. The true test is going to be the first corner at the Nürburgring. But I've got to say, with this latest build on, Really impressed. Off we go again. Sound is superb, all the little popping and whining. Track map needs a little bit of work in the corner, has a tendency to throw a hissy fit every so often. Yellow flag, 
charging front. So currently in sixth. Little bit of a jerk there, but nothing major. This is absolutely, without doubt, the smoothest this game has been in VR. they can get a good online out of this this is going to be extremely popular and no mistake This car's going to slow right down for the next corner, so we'll be able to catch them up. Well done, mate. Fastest lap so far. Overcook that. Give the place up. Just totally not looking at the marker boards on the side of the track. Getting too distracted with the shiny, shiny. Straight away, we're back with the Audi, so no big deal. So I'll have to have uh, another few plays with this um, in the dark and the rain. Also have a look at the Nürburgring, because the Nürburgring has got much more in terms of trackside scenery, which need to be rendered. up with that Merc. Shouldn't be a problem, especially on the next two corners. Surprise! Thunderheads. Not too hot that time, that was better. So I'm up to fourth. One minute and a bit to go, so one more lap. I can see at least two cars ahead of me. Is that all three? No, just two.
Don't think I'll be catching those by the end of the race. Only one lap. So one more lap to go. Might be able to get a podium. Catch up to this Lamborghini. Right, then neither is on the final lap. Give it all you can. Well done, mate. That's my fastest lap. Nearly lost it. That would have been bad. I think the gap's slightly too big here. Overall, this has been uh, a very enjoyable 10 minute race. Yes, the graphics are absolutely superb. They, they really have seemed to have got the hang of this now. The frame rate is lovely and smooth. Graphics are crisp. There's no real juddering. It's a hundred times more playable than it was on the first build. Not going to catch up with them for the last corner. So this is going to be fourth place. Over the line we go. The race is over. Good job, mate. You're on target. Now we get back home safely. And that's where the car gets killed. So we'll just get a confirmation of the final positions. But that was really good. So um, here we go, fourth place. Excellent. So there it is. A set of course of competition in VR, build three point five. Um, excellent new vr tweaks excellent so this game is is really really looking good the next update in a few weeks is the hungaro ring and the ferrari 458 you can see there so just before christmas this is going to be a superb little game anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time